and infectious dermatosis leading to varicose lesions you are not going to basically forget. Let us talk about sporotrichosis. Typically it is the sporotrix which will be leading to that. It is once more a traumatic implantation of this fungus. Typically it grows in the soil. Say a fellow who is working in a rose garden has come up with the lesions which are typically verrucous in nature. Think of sporotrichosis. A carpenter came with a verrucous lesion. Think of uh, chromoblastomycosis is a very important uh, buzzword which you are not going to basically forget. There will be developing a, of, development of a lot of lymphocutaneous lesions which will be developing. Superative, subcutaneous nodules will be part of the sporotrichosis. And oral potassium iodide is going to be the treatment of choice. So you can see in this how the nodular tender lymphatic chain of um, lymphatic involvement is there. And you can also see how there is no vesicular stage and there is a development of nodular lesions, verrucous lesions, warty lesions which you see in the case of the sporotrichosis. Uh, typically this individual is gardener by his occupation. Now we are living in this part of the world where leprosy takes a major toll. So we need to know anything and everything about mycobacterium leprae. Just like mycobacterium tuberculosis, it's big brother. This younger brother is also an acid fast organism. It is a droplet infection which will be transmitting the mycobacterium leprae is what we need to remember. Mycobacterium leprae is a spectral disease. It can have a tuberculoid, lepromatis, borderline, different types of leprosy, all of you know very well. In those individuals who have got an intact cellular immunity, typically a tuberculoid type of leprosy will be developing. In these individuals, if you do a lepromine test, just like a tubercle test, it will be positive. And it leads to localized skin lesions, involvement of the nerve is what you typically see in tubercloid type of leprosy. The skin involvement leading to anesthesia and a muscle atrophy will be developing and the auto amputation of the digits will make this debilitating condition called tubercloid leprosy. Lepromatous spectrum will develop if there is uh, cellular immunity got weakened in the individual. It is no more functional. It has no energy to any more contain the disease. That is the stage at which lepromatous leprosy will be developing. Because there is no cell immunity, immunity there is no lepromine test positivity. So it will be negative. And, the, and what is very important is, in the tissue, within the macrophages, the mycobacterium will be residing. And those macrophages in which the mycobacterium leprae are found are called the leprous cells. So leprous cells are basically macrophages which have eaten the mycobacterium is what we need to basically understand. And typically the classic leonine phases will be developing and how will be a lepromatous leprosy skin biopsy is my question to all of you. Are you going to find these organisms within the dermis or are you going to find them in the epidermis is my question to all of you. Now all of our thinking is uh, dermis, epidermis, epidermodermal junction. Within epidermis, stratum corneum, stratum basal. Now you are very sure doctor, you are excellent dermatopathologist now. There will be a narrow zone beneath the, the epidermis which is free of organisms. It is called Grenz zone. Underlying that zone, there will be area where a lot of macrophages which are teeming with the organisms will be found. So this is the typical skin biopsy in a patient who has got a lepromatous leprosy. And the neural involvement is a late feature in the case of the lepromatous leprosy. So now you can see doctor, in this that within the epidermis you can see there is a narrow zone which is not affected by the macrophages infiltration which is called the Grenz zone. And below that uh, narrow zone typically what you find uh, is the microorganisms that is a mycobacteria being taken up by the macrophages uh, is what you can classically see below that area. And uh, you can see the acid fast stain positivity of the organisms which are residing within those macrophages which are called basically the leprous cells is what I want to underscore to all of you. Lepromatous leprosy at the time of enrollment in the drug trial you can see the patient after giving the multi-drug therapy for about one year you can see the wonderful improvement that has occurred now she is ready for marriage. So this important uh, wonderful relief Leprous 